All right, so we're gonna take this carb off this Kawasaki. First thing we're gonna do is remove the air filter housing. There's that. Here goes this guy. I've got my daughter doing camera work here, so bear with us. Pop him off, pop the air filter off, ta-da. Inside here, there's two 10 millimeter bolts that you're gonna take out. We can, there we go. There's one, or 10 millimeter nuts, I should say. Here comes the other one. Pop him off. Okay. Uh, make sure we remove the breather hose. Pop all that off. Now you're at your carburetor. So there's a gasket right here that as you can see on this one is toast. So that'll be coming off at some point. The fuel line is back here. Right back in there. So we're gonna take that off if we can get it off. Governor spring is right up here, so you need your needle nose pliers to pop that out. Kind of, you know, do a bend and twist to get it out. There's, there's the spring that's out. Now I got to get the rod out. Don't want to break that or do anything too crazy with it. It's hooked up to the governor, and then we'll just pull the whole carburetor off. There's that crappy gasket that's toast. There's that. There's a spacer and two more gaskets back here. But I mean, we're just going to leave those on there for this purpose. And then here's your carburetor. So if you're going to clean this, what I would do is flathead screwdriver. Take your jet out on the top, the pilot jet. There's that, and then another 10 millimeter. <clears throat> Take the bowl off. So there's that, that. This will probably be full of gas if you've been using it. There's that. Pretty clean in there actually. And then here's your float. And there's a needle and seat right up in there. But, I mean, you can pop this pin out. Don't lose it. And then take all that out. There's your needle. It's up in there. And then up in here, there's another jet. Down in the tube, if you can see, see if we can get in there. See that right in there? So we can stick a screwdriver in there and twist him out. Actually, we can't because the screwdriver I have is too big. <coughs> but you get a screwdriver in there, take that out, and then I would soak everything in carb cleaner, clean it all off, brush it, run a brush through all the passages that you can find. If you have a ultrasonic cleaner, Run that through the run it, run everything through the ultrasonic cleaner, not so much the plastic stuff, but these pieces and the jets. So that way you can get it all clean. And then after you take it out, spray it all off again, and then just reassemble in the back. Reverse of how you took it apart. So you put this back in. <coughs> Excuse me. Put your pin back in that you didn't lose. 
You'll already have taken this jet out, clean it all out, put it back in. Where's your bowl? Put your bowl back on. There's a gasket in here. You might need a new one of those. This one's pretty toasted if I was going to use it. <coughs> Get your bowl back on. Tighten them down. And then you got your. This would I would replace these if I was doing this. And then you just slide everything back on. Hook these back up in the top. And we'll get the governor spring on there. You don't want to mess that governor spring up too much because that will mess up with your with the governor working like it's supposed to. And that's on. Pull that on. Hook your fuel line back up through the back side. For the sake of time, we're going to pretend that the fuel line's hooked up. So that's all good. Everything is back on. Oh, we forgot to put our jet back in. Put our jet back in the top. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Then we're going to put your air cleaner cover back on. The back of the case, I should say. Let me make sure that lines up. Make sure you got your thing back up on top. Two 10 millimeter nuts. They go on. Pretty self-explanatory after that. So there you go. You cut it off.